I think the silence is deafening because for every minute that uh, this law is on the books, and it is as of midnight tonight, uh, last night, you know, today, um, constitutional rights are being violated. And so uh, what the purpose of emergency stays are is to preserve the status quo while lawsuits can be litigated, while courts can work things out because it takes time to do the briefing and to hear the arguments. And so emergency stays are generally granted if you can prove a couple of things. One is a likelihood of success on the merits. In light of Roe versus Wade, that seems likely. The other is whether there will be irreparable harm in the absence of a stay or harm to the other party uh, if there is a stay. And so in this instance, all of these women who are not going to be able to get abortions in the meantime, while this case is litigated in the district court, is absolutely irreparable harm. And in light of the clear precedent of Roe versus Wade, the likelihood of success on the merits by any fair measure is yeah. very, very high. And so uh, the, the circuit justice is Justice Alito for the Fifth Circuit Court of Appeals, one of the court's conservatives, although the rest of the justices have the ability to grant the stay, it would require five votes. And so if we don't hear from the court uh, with five votes, it's because there are not five votes that want to push this issue. So I think every minute that goes by is a violation of the constitutional rights of women seeking abortions in Texas.